Good evening, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana University received a record-breaking $408.6 million in private sector support in the 2008 fiscal year that exceeds the previous record set in 2005 by $107 million. Gifts through the IU Foundation and Riley Children's Foundation were the highest on record. IU President Michael McRobbie said that nearly 40% of the gifts made through the IU Foundation were designated by donors for student scholarships and fellowships on all campuses. The U.S. Small Business Administration says they will close their centers in Bartholomew, Johnson, and Morgan counties after this Thursday. The SBA urges homeowners, renters, businesses, and nonprofit organizations that are disaster victims to visit one of the centers before they close. The NCAA Committee on Infractions has told IU not to submit a response to the alleged failure to monitor violation against the men's basketball program. The charge is one of five violations faced by the university. IU President Michael McRobbie received a letter on Tuesday from the Infractions Committee Chair extending the deadline from Wednesday to September 26th. The committee is finalizing portions of the report pertaining to specific allegations made against former IU head coach Calvin Sampson and former assistant coach Rob Senderoff. A truck driver drove through the Waverly branch of the Morgan County Public Library early this morning. Reports say that the driver had a sudden seizure and went off the road and struck a telephone pole. The truck then hit the building, which broke several windows. David Ross, director of the county library, says the accident happened while they were not open. The building was struck where people would normally read books and magazines. They hope to be open during normal business hours tomorrow. Your weather forecast for tonight, for tomorrow, sunny with highs up to 78. Tomorrow night, clear, lows down to 52. And then in your five-day forecast, sunny on Friday with highs around 80. Saturday, mostly clear, highs at 82.